Hello and welcome to Dino's Vault and guess what the Pulsar 250 gets a major overhaul and a major update and uh, it gets all the right updates and checks all the right boxes so what all updates does it get get up now nah, i ain't a quitter toss me the ball i'm a really big hitter big picture i'm a straight killer rise in the song to the highest bidder got juice got gas i'ma move fast new shoes new tracks like who's that first of all uh, let me say it can be called a fantastic four uh, update from uh, uh, Bajaj because this should have been the N250 from the word go is what I feel because every time Pulsar is launched our expectations run sky high because that's the kind of standard uh, brand Pulsar has set for itself. It is the world's favorite Indian and it is India's favorite and most loved sport bike. So when you look at uh, this Pulsar 250 N250 uh, you can see the new body graphic uh, that is completely new and uh, really elevates the design especially in this black color to a completely different level. Uh, how I wish that they had given gold anodized USD forks. So the first major update is the USD forks. These are 37mm USD forks and they really do a world of good by giving it the right direction of travel while cornering hard uh, through the twisties. So uh, the gold, champagne gold uh, USD folks are available for the red color and the white color but I don't know why they have not given it for the black color whereas it would have suited the best for the black color so I feel and I really hope that Bajaj give this an update and you know give gold anodized folks in the days to come the second major update is the uh, full digital console the full digital speedo console uh, as we saw the 200 ns got it the 160 ns got it uh, the rest of the uh, fleet also got it so you have the gear position indicator you have distance to empty and uh, you have all the uh, features and uh, feature number three is mtc or motorcycle traction control so all you need to do is uh, long press on this button if you can focus here and release and mtc is on similarly long press here and uh, when you release it mtc is off so motorcycle traction control what does it do i've already explained it to you earlier so if you're cornering uh, and uh, you know cornering hard and right in the middle of the corner if you want to give full throttle and get full acceleration uh, the chances are the rear wheel is going to give way because of lack of traction and because of excess wheel spin that's where traction control really steps in and saves the day and ensures that the excess wheel, wheel spin is controlled and the traction is retained by the uh, rear wheel okay one more important update is the a ABS modes that have been introduced for the first time in this uh, segment. If you can have a look, this is the off-road mode that has been uh, clearly mentioned here. ABS intrusion is minimal here. So double click on the mode button and it changes to road where uh, intrusion is uh, perfectly balanced for road conditions. In uh, rain, again uh, intrusion is maximized to uh, uh, allow ABS intervention to make sure the wheels don't lock up. And finally, in off-road mode. Uh, the ABS intrusion is minimized such that you can actually spin the wheel a little more freely to get out of harm's way. So that is one important uh, factor. So we got the USD folks, we got uh, the traction control, the speedo console, three updates and yet another update was the fatter rear tire. Now how I wish like we all hope for a fatter rear tire and there is a myth that uh, uh, goes by uh, uh, saying that a fatter uh, rear tire will obviously offer better road grip. Well that uh, is left for another debate for another day but uh, this is a standard uh, uh, MRF zapper tire. How I wish they could have offered a radial rear tire to really add on the value proposition and take the performance quotient to a different level because the tire feels a little bouncy and maybe it needs a little running in because this is a brand new bike but still uh, I was not comfortable pushing it to its limits with the uh, this rear tire. Uh, I really hope in the future update uh, the N250 the kind of refined aggression it has on offer I am pretty damn sure it deserves a radial rear tire. Also you now get the short stubby double barrel exhaust uh, the making uh, way uh, and uh, you know getting devoid of the uh, underbelly exhaust and this is a really really uh, you know thumpy and uh, base heavy exhaust that you come expecting from a pulsar you can see the base almost similar to the dominar a little bit but uh, this one feels a lot more sportier you can feel the grunt So there you have it, the double barrel exhaust 
uh, as on the right kind of background score that this kind of sinister looking uh, naked uh, street bike deserves the rest of the features remain the same you have a 300 mm petal disc up front dual channel abs is standard it is not switchable but as i told you traction control you can turn it off and perform those uh, uh, you know zero cuts and uh, throw some dirt around you have a mono shock that is that comes with preload adjustability again uh, you know rear disc brake as well a 230 mm i believe uh, 140 section rear tire but i really wish it was a 151 but either ways the paint quality feels a lot more beautifully done the dual panel uh, layout for the uh, you know body uh, uh, you know uh, structure really really adds on a premium feel also the pulsar branding in 3d uh, adds on a premium feel and makes it look like a higher segment bike you do get a usb charging socket as well to stay connected on the go also there are a myriad of features once you connect your uh, a console to the pulsar connect app uh, where you can uh, you know uh, accept and reject calls you can also view your messages or missed call alerts and uh, then of course you uh, also have turn by turn navigation which is a major major update uh, for a bike in this segment and that is needed because everyone wants to explore everyone everyone wants to take the road less uh, less traveled everyone wants to embrace the biking culture these days and it was the bikes like pulsar that actually introduced the biking culture to the masses and there you have a look at the uh, the naked wolf kind of a design coming alive with the front fascia uh, the front headlamp with the uh, LED position lamps almost looks similar. I, of course, this design came first, but makes me proud saying that the MT09 from Yamaha almost gets a similar kind of a design and also multifunctional, uh, uh, bifunctional uh, LED projector, which works for low beam as well as high beam. It saves a lot of weight and offers a consistent light throw, puts a lesser load on the battery. Also, LED turn blinkers offered as standard is a good, good inclusion. Crash guard is included. Uh, and I wish uh, the side stand uh, could have been offered uh, of better quality like what we get with the Dominar. But at this price point, prices around uh, 1.51 lakhs X showroom. At this price point, I think uh, asking too much is a little too greedy. Again, the race stripes on the... Uh, on the wheels alloy wheels also add on to the visual appeal it really looks sinister stealthy and stunning in this all black attire and this undeniably is my favorite color of choice in the pulsar n250 new color lineup you also get a red and white color variants which look kind of okay but uh, this my friend is the best stunning looking uh, variant what is your favorite uh, color feel free to comment below and let me know how does it feel to ride we're going to have a quick ride and talk about the acceleration the ergonomics and the comfort the throttle response whether they have fine-tuned the engine a little, little more and added a little more juice to it the powering the uh, n250 however is the same 250 cc single cylinder uh, air cooled oil cooled uh, fuel injected motor that puts out 24.5 ps of max power and 21.5 newton meters of max torque another uh, thing that uh, really makes me want uh, you know leaves me wanting for more is a five-speed gearbox this one gets only a five-speed gearbox how i wish they had offered a six-speed gearbox to complement the sporty character that the n250 defines or stands up for because the engine is absolutely sublime very sweet the r d people have fine-tuned it to the max so that's why i call it refined aggression and finally I like to say that uh, a six-speed gearbox would have been the icing on the cake, a perfect complement to the kind of uh, engine refinement and aggression that this lovely quarter-liter Street Fighter has on offer. So next, let's uh, see how it feels to ride and what kind of riding dynamics it has on offer. 